Welcome to day 1,554 of What Shift to Know. Sharon Hornell's here with my little gravy train. <laughs> Find financial abundance on a gravy train. <laughs> Our topic today for Supersize Your Business was gravy train. Talking about uh, the expression from the 1920s that the railroad men in the railroad industry created to express ride the gravy train, meaning that they were on a run that paid really, really well, but didn't require a whole lot of work. Uh, so they would say they were riding the gravy train or they would like to ride the gravy train. And this term became exploited and uh, came to express and represent any exploited source of easy money, any easy money or exploited source of money, right? So uh, a windfall, winning the lottery would be the gravy train, getting on the gravy train, right? That would be an, a, probably the ultimate example of, of a gravy train because you put like, almost no effort into something and you get a huge reward out the other end. Winning uh, winning any kind of a, a contest or award or things like that is, is kind of gravy train, right? Getting financing for your business would be an example of riding the gravy train because money comes in. Now you're supposed to produce a lot of things, but some people don't for that money. Um, building our businesses, I, I think this is an interesting one for supersize your business because some people believe that Building a business and having a business is easy money and it's going to be a gravy train and they'll just do it and boom, they'll be instantly successful. You know, it's like the person that goes out to Hollywood and thinks they're going to be an overnight sensation, an overnight star. They're going to be discovered as soon as they get there. The reality, the vast majority of people that, that take that route don't succeed, never ever get any acting jobs and never fulfill their dream of being an actor. But there are a few that do. But those are the ones that put in the work the effort that's required to become discovered, to become successful, to to hone and master their trade. The same is true of building and growing and supersizing our business. Uh, the, there are literally millions of people that start businesses, but only a handful of people that succeed long term. And of those, only a few that supersize and grow their business to the point where they're making the world a better place and they're having a positive impact on the world. I think I'm redefining supersize your business as having a positive impact on the world, right? There's lots of ways and you can use the same strategies to grow your business, but it can be to have a negative impact on the world, right? We grow a positive business the same way we grow a negative business, but one hurts the world and one helps the world. I say, I'm going to say supersizing is only for people that want to make the world a better place. All right, that's my distinction for today. Uh, but talk about that in different ways that uh, people interpret and think about that. And just shared my opinion on, on the whole gravy train cash cow thought process when it comes to building and supersizing our business. I think there's a distinction there. Uh, millions of people build successful businesses. Very few become supersized businesses that, that make the world a better place. Uh, our topic today was financial abundance for the annual challenge. We're focusing on financial, and that means money for most of us, money, financial resources, uh, whatever abundance looks like to you. Our topic was abundance today, financial abundance. And then we thought just about abundance in other areas and aspects of our life. We're just sharing one thing in our life that is already abundant. Now, some people will probably come back with problems, lack, scarcity, doubt, worry, fear, and that's what I want to know, because if you've got an abundance of those things in your life, we want to address those this month so that they don't negatively impact your financial abundance. Um, we all have those things that come up, but if we have a lot of it, those are things we don't want a lot of. We want a lot of positive, good, happy, joyful feeling things in our life and not hardly any doubt, worry, fear, problems, challenges. Now, we're going to have problems and challenges throughout our whole life. We're going to have change throughout our whole life. That's what this challenge is all about really is knowing that things are happening and changing all the time but we can happen and change with them and come out ahead by becoming and continually be improving and becoming a better version of ourselves so those are the couple pieces of content that i created this morning plus this little doc you know journal documenting my journey uh, and sharing what i'm doing as i'm transitioning from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world and I think I've mentioned it since COVID a little bit of back and forth. I think that we need more uh, freedom and independence here in America and here in our own lives. And that begins with each and every one of us doing what we can and creating what we can in terms of financial and 
uh, other types of, of security for ourselves and for those we love and care about. That that starts at home, right? Starts with our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being as well as our financial well-being. And that helps to contribute to the world is a better place, contribution, and relationships. So there we've already covered seven different areas and aspects of our life that can be impacted, that we have the ability to choose and impact and create what we want. So this month, all about finances. Uh, that's all we're going to talk about today. I've got a busy schedule, busy week ahead, which is always exciting. I, I am one of those people that likes to be busy, likes to have things that I'm working on. I've got a couple new projects and new irons in the fire. Another idiom. All right. Have a great day. If I can help you in any way, remember the five minute guarantee. Uh, you can just box for me or direct message me. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow.